Tween Winter Hangout at Home, Assembling Your Mini Lantern. Hi tweens! In this kit, one of the things you've received is a mini lantern with a tree, an LED light, and a snowman. The light comes out so that you can turn the battery on and off. To begin with, in your kit you'll have a mini lantern. The latch opens like so. You'll also find a little artificial tree, a wooden peg to paint to make a snowman, a light, the battery uh, switch is on the bottom, so you can turn it off and save the battery, some white paint, some red paint, a little bit of permanent glue, some artificial snow, and a black pen and a paintbrush. To begin with, you're going to want to make sure to protect your surface, either with a paper plate, paper towel, newspaper, magazine, something you don't mind getting paint on. You're going to use your white paint to start covering your um, little wooden peg to make your snowman. You want to put an even layer of white paint all the way around, making sure you get good coverage. If you want some texture, you can kind of make it gloppy, but then it's going to take longer to dry. You need to um, make sure everything is covered. And unfortunately, because the snowman is so little, uh, you're going to get paint on your fingers. So make sure you wash your hands well afterwards. And uh, make sure that you don't get paint on your clothes. Nice coverage there. Once you've got your little peg snowman painted, check for any spots that might not be covered. And because of the way you have to hold it, I needed to fix the top where my finger was touching it. A little bit right there. Try and hold it steady is the hard part. Once that's painted, you're going to let it dry at least 15 minutes before you can paint the scarf and draw the face on. So you can let that dry after making sure everything's nice and smooth in the way you want it. And be careful because it likes to stick to your fingers. <laughs> go. Last touch-ups. And you don't want to paint the bottom of your peg because that part's going to be glued down anyway. Make sure you clean your brush. All right. I'm still letting my snowman dry, so while I'm waiting to do that, I'm going to glue my artificial tree into my lantern. I'm going to decide where I want it, what corner I want it to be in. I want it kind of in the back there, because I'm going to have my snowman up front. I'm going to take a little bit of the glue from my pot. Here I've just got it on my tree, on my in the tube still. I'm putting it on the bottom of my tree, and I'm going to put it in the back there, making sure it's sitting nice and flat, just like so. And I'm going to let that dry. All right, my snowman peg is dry, so I'm going to add a red scarf to him. I'm taking my paintbrush, and I'm just dipping the edge into the, thing, the and I'm going to go around the neck carefully, trying to make an even line all the way around the snowman's neck.
just using the edge of the brush. Once you've gone all the way around, you can add the dangling part of the scarf. About halfway down the snowman's side. There you go like that. Let it dry. Make sure you clean your brush. And then you can do the face. Once your snowman's dry, you can use your black permanent marker. You'll have a different brand, but it'll be about the same. And you can draw your snowman's black button eyes, a smiley face. And this is entirely up to you whether you want to do dots or do a whole smile. It's your snowman. I'm doing dots like I would with buttons. And a couple buttons down the front. And since this is Barker, this doesn't really take much to dry. And he's all set. So now I'm going to finish assembling my lantern. My glue has dried from the tree. And I'm going to do the same with the snowman. I've decided where I'm going to put it. I'm going to take the little dab of glue from my pot. And I'm going to put it on the bottom of the snowman. And I'm going to position him in my lantern. He's going to go in the front. It's like so right there. I'm going to squish it down, make sure he's nice and flat and stable. And we're almost done. At this point, you can put your LED candle in. You can see how it looks. And you can add your artificial snow. A little bit goes a long way here, and be careful opening it so it doesn't end up all over the place. And you can gently shake it in and position it around your lantern. If you need help positioning it, you can use the end of your paintbrush to kind of move the snow around. Bring some to the front because it likes to settle in the back. You can use as much or as little of the snow as you like, or none at all if you don't want to make a mess. <laughs> I needed some more up front there. And there we have it. There is your mini winter lantern with LED, uh, winter tree, and snowman. Remember, you can turn your lantern off to save your battery when you're not using it. It's LED, so it won't get hot. And you have a nice winter decoration. I hope you enjoy it. Bye, tweens. <laughs>